Good morning everyone, welcome to today's stream where I take a look to Road Grand Tours cycling app. Now it's 30 days premium free for the coronavirus. Let's hope in 30 days it will blow over. Yeah. Uh, so let me just share the stream for a minute and we will walk through how you can install, how you can use Road Contours and we will take a look on uh, the, the routes, the default routes it has and the magic roads. That's an interesting opportunity, the magic roads. Let me just... Okay, here we go. Perfect. Now, first of all, you can see my Android phone mirrored here. And here is the Microsoft Store. In order to use Roadrun Tours, I will turn off the. Let me just turn off the logos for a second. And that one. That one. Which one is that? Okay. So. So you have to have. Roadrun Tours is two parts. You have to have the screen app installed on your iPad, phone, or PC, or Mac, I think. And you have to have a controlling app. Let's call it RGT Companion, or RGT Cycling Mobile. I don't really know if it has a name. Let's check it. RGT Cycling. So, RGT Cycling is the controlling app. And, uh, RGT Cycling is the controlling app. And Agitic Screen is the main app. For Windows, I don't have a Mac, sorry. For Windows, you have to install it from Microsoft Store. So, Windows 10, open Microsoft Store, and there you see IGT Screen. Now, I have it installed early. Let's start with that. Actually, I already started it. Once you open it up, you will see a pairing screen. It instructs you to download the RGT Cycling mobile app on your phone. Log in to your account and then to pair it with code. So let's do that. I've downloaded it. Let's open the app and you can see that originally it's in the home where you can see. I should hide the frame, okay. But you can see explore, race, train, socialize, and such. You can uh, see the latest news like uh, deputy finished another lap on Bordigo Springs and such and such. Now, in the upper left, you have a screen which says save all. If you click on it, you have to type in the code and then it pairs with your screen app. You have to be on the same Wi Fi network or the same network. My PC is connected to the LAN port of the router, not the Wi Fi. And uh, okay, connection failed. Well, that's not good news, right? But it's hmm, interesting. Now let's see if I close it. And I'm relaunching it. Okay, next, next. To work okay and it's bad so I opened the app too early and I like launched the, the screen up afterwards after I reopened the app on the Android phone it's okay so let me rearrange that one here so RGT is around for I don't know like uh, for one and a half year Probably more. I don't really know. Anyhow, it's a long story. Last year at spring, they turned tight and uh, started to develop the RGT screen app and the RGT mobile app. Now, in order to do anything in the program, you have to go through the mobile app. I don't really like that because it's not only a remote, it's a necessity. You have to have the RGT mobile app or you cannot use the RGT screen app. There is that. So let's see what we can do here. First, we have the Explorer, RGT Real Roads. Yeah, that's pretty much self explanatory. If I click RGT Real Roads, it's 
starts showing up on the mobile screen the small details and you can see on the RGB screen of the big details let's make it a full screen okay so we have moment to yeah 25.5 kilometers uh, uh, 1600 meters elevation 6% average you see a short description uh, what is, but this but is more interesting that you can start you can check set the starting point for the climb in the RGT mobile so I can start at the first point the second point the third or the first point the uh, fourth point I don't know how good is that next to it in the RGT mobile you can slide to you can uh, slide right left right from right to left to riders so you can ride with Victor G you can ride with Alexis G G L and you see at the moment 10 people riding up on that climb and I can join to them so if I pick uh, Marcus K ride with Marcus K I will join to him and he is at the moment at the lower part of the climb next you have the segments you can ride a separate segment for the for the group like uh, metal station simpson memorial and uh, i will not pronounce that so there is that let's see we have moment two we have cup for mentor it's the same yeah you can uh, start at different uh, starting points you can start with uh, different riders you can join to different riders and you have we have no segments here otherwise for arrow screens yeah, it's uh, it's quite simple, quite a simple route. <laughs> Has some elevation in it, but it's not much. One percent average, it's 19 meters. There is only one segment, one location to start, and we have a couple of couple of guys and girls riding that segment. Yeah, not much. Pienza, I will ride Pienza in a minute. I like this route. It's eight kilometers long. You have. Uh, three locations to start three segments sorry yeah we have a couple of riders now interesting thing you see the riders with the national flag like french uh, jamaican uh, england great britain sorry and uh, you can see the ones without flag the, the gray ones these are bots like robots like they are not people from real they are here to uh, create server load to get you to make you feel that you are not alone on the road and they are they are bots yeah now let's see what we have here two we have Passo di Stelvio yeah a quite popular route in the real world you have four uh, starting points a couple of riders there already and three bots as well I like to show the street quickly and so Passo di Stelvio has uh, four starting points, a couple of riders riding with seven real people at the moment and three bots, and we have one segment switchback. The next one is uh, Connery Ward. Well, Canary Wharf is a crit like city in a real environment, like in a city. It's quite nice if you ask me, but it's only one kilometer long. So it's very fast to go around, like if you go 30 km per hour, it's two minutes per lap. So it's very fast. Yeah. Four people trying it at the moment, but look, the, the rest are bots. Locations, there's only one location, it's one kilometer long, so it's not that much. Then we have 8 bar. 8 bar is a grid kill pit on, a, on an airport. It's only 1 km, very fast again, but a couple of corners, so your avatar will go zigzagging through the route. Again, only one start, only Greg riding it, and Matthew is riding it because it's a zero water program, and 9 bots, so you can battle without these bots. And there's no segments. And the last one, Paterberg from Belgium. Great, 4.2 km. Probably I will do Butterbell, but I'm not so sure I want 
no, I'm not, I don't do part about I will do PNs. I don't want this, uh, this, this client, this segment, yeah, the client. No way. Probably after PNs, after a long time. So there's only one starting point to start, and two, Belgian riders riding it at the moment. Who else? So that's about the real roads. Now the more interesting thing are magic roads. As you can see. Uh, magic road is a functionality that if you have a premium account and you create a GPX or download a GPX file then you can send it to, uh, to an email address of RGT and it process the GPX file and you can write your actual road in game this is not possible at the moment in Swift I don't think it is possible ever at least not in the foreseeable future in RGT it's possible but there are limitations, 100 km or 62 miles maximum. If you have a longer ride than that, it will be not processed. Also, it, it, it shouldn't be a circle, so a lap. It has to be from A point to B. It doesn't matter if you go round and B, the finish is very close to E, but it shouldn't connect, so it's not a lap, it's one route. Let me show you that. Here we go. My original uh, place, my home, hometown page. It's uh, I don't know if I spin that. If I can spin that, no, I can't. So this road goes up on the hill, then down to a lake, then through some village, then back to the starting point. And it's very close, but it's not a lap. It has a gap between the finish and the start. I will try it as well. And uh, we had a uh, banter going on on uh, Swift time, I remember. Uh, so I created the, the road to go to Tobogoku from the north side and the north side from the south side. So if you have quarantine, I can still road, still ride Tobogoku. Anyhow, that was Magic Road. So Magic Road, you can import GPX files into your own account. You can schedule a race, as you can see on the lower part of the of my mobile. You can schedule a group ride. If you schedule a group ride, you can set a couple of stuff. So if you want uh, boards, you want to do a workout, so you have a group workout functionality straight away in RGT. You can have it promoted, so anybody can join and you can have it private. If you create it, you will receive an ID. You can send this ID to anybody and they can join based on this ID. You can schedule a race, same thing. You can promote it, you can make it private, you can get event description, you can add bots, so it's more interesting. Moon power, max power, so with bots, it gets really interesting, I think. And magic roads, really nice. That's the one point I, I'm, I'm in for RGT. I don't really like the double screen functionality, but this magic road clearly got it. So. <laughs> Yeah, the Bogoku is there. So, uh, you have a library of workouts, probably FTP, anaerobic, anaerobic 2. It's not much, it's something to start with. Calories, threshold. So, you have a couple of uh, VO2 max, uh, 5 to 10 workouts for each, like VO2 max, threshold, calorie, endurance, and anaerobic, and the FTP test. Platform shouldn't use the FTP test, although I'm Mr. the RAM test, it's really mainstream nowadays. If you have a training fix account, you can make it sync to RGT, so uh, your, it, uh, your upcoming workouts will show up in RGT. So if your coach giving you the workouts based on power training picks, you can sync it to, to uh, your RGT account. And then you have the uploads, which says send your workouts by email to add them to your RGT typing collection, so I can create my workouts wherever. I don't know. Yeah, the, it's, it, it expects GPS, Sweet, Zvo, or MRC. Now, here is a twist. Zvo, like ZWO, is a format for Sweet. So if you already have your Sweet workouts, you can easily import them to RGT. Clever move from them. You send it, uh, at the workout file as an attachment to workouts at rgtcycling.com and it, that's alright. It's almost the same for magic loads. If you want the magic load to, to be imported, then uh, you can send it to 
magicclothes at rgpcycling.com and, and then you receive an email that hey we're starting to work on it and it took them four or five hours for the three routes to, to, to be processed so that's about the workouts then you have the races upcoming if you set it to promote your, your race will show up here register it I haven't registered any events yet, yet. and I haven't completed any events yet well, I installed it yesterday so yeah there is that you can take let's say uh, IGP cycling is promoting it nobody else is promoting races at the moment let's pick one let's say one week from now race on the famous Corrigo Springs yeah, yeah. riders let's pick a closer one because as I see nobody is there starts in one hour let's see so it's getting populated nowadays that's interesting that at the moment the board is showing a couple of riders anyhow you see the event description you see the race uh, you see the, the, uh, the climb you see the details so it's quite cool who can make a race friends group rides upcoming let's see if you see anybody here Riders. Now let's wait a second. No riders will subscribe yet. Interesting. TRC group ride. But TRC is not RGP cycling, so I guess it, it will be a populated one. And then we have the equipment. Again, I can't change anything on the on the on the LGP screen app on my PC I can't click I, I, I click on glasses nothing happening I click on bike nothing is happening so you have to change everything from companion app let's see the clothing I don't know if I like that one let's change to Wahoo put jersey use this week as soon as you go back your avatar is in Wahoo jersey yeah, for bikes you have a Ripley, a couple of BMCs, and I think we have an 8 bar single speed. So you have a single speed nonsense in game as well if you want to ride that. For glasses you have Adidas, and then nothing else. Actually, you only have one type of glasses with different colors. <laughs> for helmet, yeah. It's Three kind of helmet for the option to go non, but safety first. We are going with the helmet. That's about the equipment. So again, you can go explore, you can go train, you can go socialize. Let's socialize riders, find old friends or make new ones, and ride and ride with them. So you can go straight to ride with rider. Let's see. He's going. Right, it's so three hours to ridden. 270 kilometers, 7,000 meters to climb, okay, 38 activities, so I can join to them, yeah? Group rides, upcoming, it's the same like we did before, for train, yeah, connect thing peaks, or I can go to workouts. So, let's go for your road. One more thing, yeah. And let's pick Pianza, right? From Pianza, from the start. Now, here goes the key. You don't pair your equipment to the RGP screen app, you pair your equipment via the RGP mobile app again. Yeah, I will tell this location, twice location. Now, I want to pair my power meter to. Okay, now let's see. Click on power. An interesting thing, I have an M plus stick in the PC. And I have the Bluetooth turned on on my phone, so I can join power smoothing. I can set here. I can uh, pair my power meter via the mobile app to the PC, and I can pair my power meter to the mobile app via Bluetooth. I will be change power. For some reason, I can't see my power meter here. Let's see if I see it here. Probably it's not registering at the moment. Let's just spin a little bit. Okay, here we go. It was turned off. 
So let's set the power meter for cadence and power, heart rate, and the touch neo. So everything is there here and plus. Now I close it. And here we go. Let's see how it performs. Well, the slope is 4% and it feels like 4%. Change some gears. I don't want to get to run out of air <laughs> that early, at least. So, this is the first person camera. It's almost like you on the bike for real. I see that there are a couple of guys on the left. Here I see my power and cadence and heart rate on the left up top. Some details about speed, slope, elapsed time. Distance, remaining distance per lap, I think. At 5.5, it's not okay, it's more than, more than 8 kilometers, right? So, oh, there is somebody. And in the meantime, on the mobile, you can still see it on my screen. You can still check the details of the other riders, your data, at least your power and cadence. And more interestingly, you have the turn, wave cam, and graphic user interface option. Now let's get down to this trolley and then we try out a couple of things. I don't know if... I don't think I see anything else there. Yeah, I think so I will leave the mobile screen here. Okie doke, now let's see. Let's start with the wave. No, let's start with the camera. Probably that's the most, most interesting thing and the graphic user interface. So, if you pick the camera, you have the first person camera, you have the motor camera. If you stop pedaling, I think the motor camera. No, it doesn't. One or two cameras will go forward and back. You have the third person, you have the drone. You have the rear race, sorry, not the race camera. That's really useful, I think. Probably a couple of good screenshots, but nothing else. And you have the auto switch option, so it will change from time to time. Let's go to third person. Now let's start the wave function. Yep, hi there. It's just only one way. So you actually, I don't know if I have an option to give ride-ons. I don't think I have. But I also have the option to type a message. Good morning everyone. From Hungary. And it shows up nowhere on my screen. Probably on their screen. It's there. I see it in the app only right now. Now the graphic user interface, that's one option I really miss from Swift. There you go. You don't have to edit a config file, you don't have to edit an XML file or something. You just hide or display your graphic user interface. I would really love this functionality in uh, in three to record videos <laughs> okay six percent here we go now i can hide the segments yeah i can hide the rider list so i can hide one by one i can hide the chat i don't oh yeah the chat probably is the chat under my mobile but uh, no don't find it I can hide the power and the slope. So I can leave the segments, turn off that one. I can leave the chat only, for example. <coughs> now let's turn everything back. Okay, 
Uh, just give it a little bit more juice. Okay, we are up. <laughs> so, the slopes are quite nice. <laughs> Nobody answered to my chat. And again, it's almost annoying that you can't click anything. <clears throat> here if I click around nothing is happening it's a it's an almost uh, hidden stuff so you see it but you can't interact with it it's a non-interactive <laughs> you can only interact with the with the remote yeah let's see if we have some other options here I'll continue riding. And they made a good move, a very nice move actually. Originally they are requesting 10 euro per month. I think it's 10 euro or 15. Now probably it's 10. <coughs> to... Oh, and it breaks in the corner. <laughs> so not cornering with 70 km per hour. So, originally they are requesting 10 or 15 euro per month for the premium functionality. You can ride the default tracks for free. But in order to use the Magic Roads feature, and such you have to pay. Yeah, they have to support the business somehow. But for now, because of the situation in the world, if you register an account and send an empty mail to Write it out at rgtcycling.com, I think. You can find it on their Facebook site. You send an empty mail from the same email address you registered with. You will receive 30 days of premium access. You can see that in the mobile screen on the top. I received the premium. I think I received it in an hour or two. So yeah, you have all the features, you can create your own routes, you can import the workouts, you can schedule races, group rides for 30 days, if you register now, and then you send an empty mail to write it out at rgdcycling.com. Oh, another thing, probably you missed it, let's just catch up with that bot. Take care on the top left side. As I'm closing in, it shows me how far uh, the rider in front. And as I'm getting closer and closer, I will get into the draft. Hi, Majes, welcome. Hi there. And it shows me how much what I'm saving. Now my sticker is just covering it, but. <laughs> Let's see how we go in a minute. So, I'm riding behind a bot at the moment. You see, there's no nationality for Olivia. And it actually shows me how much what I'm saving. Good stuff. <coughs> if I go to front, no, I'm not going to front. Don't really want to. Okay. So going up, I'm saving only 9 watts, 10 watts at the moment.
let's slow down, but uh, we will take care of the rest. <coughs> Okay, overshoot it. <laughs> Here we go. Saving 100 watts. 200. We're oh, going downhill. Yeah. So you can actually see how much watts you're saving. Which is nice. In my opinion. In Swift, you can only see that you are drafting or not. You have a basic idea of uh, how much you are saving, but you don't really know, yeah? Let's see if I can change the power smoothing. I can. So you can change it during mid right? Also, you can repair your equipment from your mobile without disrupting the experience of riding. Although I'm not sure if it's a good idea, I think it's better for you to stop, yeah? So let's go one lap, change the camera, race camera, for the incline, yeah? Graphics is different than Swift, it's not really better or worse, it's different. It's more realistic, more photorealistic, gets ready, comes up a segment, I think, yeah? The moving of my avatar in the saddle, out of the saddle, is a little bit strange, but not that strange. If you have anything on your mind to ask, to try out or show you, let's shoot in the Twitch chat. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's a longer climb. <laughs> Let's just go easy on it. Let's go to drone camera. I need a side cam on the side of the avatar. And we have the moto. And the moto camera goes forth and back. That's the one I was talking about. to wall. <laughs> so the segment, 1.3 km segment, starts in 250 meters. Now odds E from from the east of course was the com with under one minute which means for that effort about 35 km per hour. Let's go back to third person. So he did a climbing comb at 35 km per hour. Yeah. I don't believe it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and here goes the second. Let me go up there to the castle or whatever it is. And you actually see, you see the actual result on the right and on the table. So whenever you pass this table, you see the actual comb on it. Not just the graphics, it's ref refreshing itself. I'm not trying to get the comb. <laughs> From old E, old E. And 
and you can see the top display has changed to display only the segment. How much meters left? How many meters left? How long is the segment? What's my result at the moment? I mean, the left time shows the comb. I don't know what's the what's the red tape on the left. <coughs> I thought my avatar is really jumpy out of the saddle. <laughs> Some adjustment needed here. <clears throat> In the meantime, let's try and turn off the get user interface so we can enjoy the scenery as I don't care with the segment. I realize that during the segment it's kind of annoying that you don't see where you are at at the moment. But if they're only riding for fun, that's the way to do it. Not editing XML files and config files to hide the user interface. I hope you take care. You take note, sweet. <laughs> I know you don't, but still, it would be nice to hide the user interface. By a push of a button and record videos without the user interface and without editing external files. Oh, yeah, we are hot, babe. Oh yeah, so the red tape goes from left to right, shows you where you are at during the segment in a graphic way. Some overhaul, and that's what it displays. So I'm 85, 86 to 87 kilograms set in the program. I'm doing 2.5 watts. I'm going 20 km per hour at 4% slope. So for OD to go within a minute, I must be around 50, 55 kilograms and do 4.55 watts per kilogram. It's not impossible, but uh, yeah, suspicious at best. Pianza. Damn, leaving it behind. <laughs> Again, display here. Is dynamic, which is a very nice touch. Okay, that was it. Strava is connected. 
it wasn't that painful. <laughs> Connect it. I want to save it <laughs> afterward. Oh, it. Going on the group ride. Guys. I think there's a chat going on. Yeah. Well, it's on French. Ah, I don't speak French. So you can see the chat on the right. It's not really active. It's not a big community, you know. It's not bad or good, it's just not a big community at the moment. Okay, look, now let's stop here. I think there's something here. Yeah? Around here. So let's see if I save it. Yeah, and right. This is it. You see a nice summary screen with the graphic of the route you've taken. You see distance, climb, average power, right time, <coughs> next power, next speed. Yeah, that's not a feel like for friends from the east. Every speed, every cadence, intensity factor, and TSS. Oh, it wasn't present, I assume. You see the name of the route, you see the elevation of the route. Please mind that the screen on the right uh, bottom, bottom right, uh, my mobile screen is not present. And IGT screen, I mirrored it, so it's not there all the time. You have to take care of your mobile separately. I've just displayed it so you can see. Okay. On the mobile, we see the name, the elevation, the route, and the same data distance, climb, average power, etc. etc. So, intensity factor is yes. Now, let's close it, and I do hope it's safe. Now, let's go and do some magic. I'm not going up to Bobo Cliff. I'm not going up to the Bobo Cliff. Probably this is for summer, but I created it anyway. So you have a couple of other uh, custom routes. I think it's created by RGT. Let's see, I'm from Pitch, so I will check this one. I created this route, so yeah, I can't drive it except with a scheduled group ride. I see if I can edit it or delete it. So I can't ride it alone, actually. Let's schedule a group ride. Seven time, five minutes from now. It's private, let's create it. Register it for this. So let's join. Can I join? I can't join. So let's wait a little bit. In the meantime, let's um, let's summarize. So we do have we do have a very nice program at hand for free for 30 days, where you can write famous crimes and some not so famous one like Pienza and Edward, and uh, you can organize group rides, you can organize races, you can add bots to fill up the the, uh, the roster, uh, the, the, well, the resistance was quite nice, I have a Tux Neo one and I partnered the program via N plus my PC and the, my power meter and to control my Neo. I also have a heart rate monitor from Decathlon so it's a cheap one and it's to register nicely although it, I think it registers to my microwave oven I, I couldn't, I, I'm still hard pushed to find something which cannot connect to this heart rate monitor, it's quite good for the price. So thumbs up a lot for sourcing it. Uh, so we have the group rides, we have the group races, we have the races, we have the solo rides on the route, we have the magic roads, which is very good if you are community and are quarantined, and a lot of us will end up in quarantine. You can still create the road you usually do, under 100 km, and ask your friends to join. So you can ride the same distance, same elevation, same resistance, if you're lucky. I still have to test it. If it's jumpy because of GPX or not, we will see. I've created the GPX in Garden Connect. I've tried with ride with GPS, but I ended up in a bad way. I, I, I just exited it, so I launched Garden Connect. 
and I uh, created the root there. It was still a little bit messy because it tried to, to go with me to our small roads and such, so it was a mess. Anyhow, I finished, so it's up there. They processed it within five or four, uh, five or three, six hours or something like that. So it's quite fast. If you create it at the evening, by the morning, you will have your magic roads. Magic roads. Then you can, you cannot ride it alone, which is a shame. But you can create a group ride. Now let's see. I'm the only one signed up for the moment. Let's see if I can uh, join event. No, I still cannot join. So we are one minute, one and a half minute ahead, and I still cannot join. Let's see if I need some riders online. Hungarians? Any Hungarians? No. No Hungarians at the moment. A real roads, they have the cover of that, magic roads, and so workouts, so you can upload your Swift workout as well. If you send it to workouts, it does the same so you can do your workouts in Piazza or at 8 bar, or as you can schedule a group workout, actually, you can do your workout by planning your outside route inside. So you can plan your GPS file, you know that the workout will take one and a half hour, let's say every 30 km per hour. So you create a 50 km loop around your house, not a loop, because it cannot be a lap. You create a route from A to B, 50 km, and then you schedule a group workout, invite, in, uh, uh, invite your friends or not. We will see if I can join alone, so I'm ready to sign up. And you can do your workout in your vicinity. I will see how it handles the, the road and the, and, the, and the houses and everything. But you have a chance to select a couple of aerobic endurance, real to max recovery, for shoulder cuts, so it's nice. It's a nice selection actually. Races, group rides, there you can join. Races which are promoted. Group rides, now register. Loading it starts in 5 seconds. I see, cannot join. Why I can't join? And after close to event owner. Yeah, but how can I join? Tell me that. Energy clothes. Energy heavy. Group guides. It's not there. It's a private one. And now it doesn't appear in register at once. Well, it, I wasn't lucky. Still have things to work out. Let's try this again. What if I schedule one for here? Schedule a group ride? Oh, no. I have another idea. Let's try the same route for a group ride promoted in in two minutes. Now let's see. Okay, pardon the future. So it's nine. Okay, there it is. And it's a promoted. I still can't join. Why I can't join? I don't know. I see no options. The screen app is and again, it's nothing. It's just for seeing things, not to interact with the user interface and how yeah, we have link to the clipboard, very nice now anything to do here no, I just said it. although probably it's something on their end because there is uh, informed everybody that it's overwhelming how many of us joined to RGT in the past day so we are uh, they are quite behind with the server load. Upcoming. Now let's see if it shows up here. The nice group ride. Yeah, it's the same. Just in two days. Register it to this. It's up in two minutes.
I can find where I can join. So I will give it another go for the customers. Never mind that one. The target was here to show the, the system of the source and if it is another lab on Canary Wire. Okay, so somebody from Hungary is right. The show of the show of RGT Cycling mobile app and RGT Cycling screen app. So in a summary, in short, you have to install the RGT screen as the main app on your PC, your Mac, your iPad, your I think probably that's that's all. See. So then you have to install the RGT Cycling mobile app on your phone. Without the mobile app, RGT screen app, the main app, doesn't work. You cannot click anything, you cannot interact with RGT screen. I think it's a big shortcoming, but at the moment, this is it. Uh, via the RGT Cycling mobile app, you can interact with the whole system, you can change the comments, you can select routes, you can select custom routes, magic routes, as it's called, you can select workouts, routes, whatever. You can pair the equipment, so everything is done via the RGT mobile app, RGT screen app is non-interactive other than that it's a great program i'm looking forward to use the <laughs> to use the functionality of magic roads fun join why are fun join it's way way above me what if i try to organize one the farther future, promoted one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it shows up here. Great. Okay, let's see the bots. Max power of the bots. Make them weaker than me. Distributed. And I don't want the workouts to do. So let's see. It's in 15 minutes. You can't join. At least I'm showing up. And here. It says I'm not in zero sign up. But yeah, something in there. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I will stay online for the stream and uh, I will join with Swift in a minute because I have a meeting scheduled with Kanchalara. <laughs> Actually, it's not a meeting, it's uh, do the Swift stage 4. But first, I will make a coffee and I will jump on the trainer to warm up. So thank you for watching YouTubers, I will stop the recording here, I will keep streaming and I will do page 4 in Swift in a minute. See you and thank you for watching. Goodbye.